Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Open your Bible in John 15. We're going to start in verse 9. Uh, pay attention to every word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay. John 15, verse 9. Says, As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. Amen? Amen. You keep my commitments. Are you paying attention, everybody? Amen. If you keep my commitments, you will abide in my love. What are the commitments? The commitments is word. Amen. He's saying what is is established. Amen? Amen. What is the disciple? The disciple is the person who follows the teacher. And his teaching. Amen. Amen. And disciples are a discipline followers too. Amen. Amen. And we are disciples of Jesus, what we do. We follow him and we follow his teaching. That means we, we do his teaching. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is talking to his disciple. Amen. Said, you keep my commitments, you will abide in my love. Just have, I have kept my father's commitments and abide in his love. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 11. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commitment. You listening? This is my commitment. Come on. That you love one another. Amen. One another. Amen. Amen. As I have loved you, amen. One and another, as I have loved you. Okay, that's the commandment. Jesus already said they love his disciple. Okay. He said the same way I love you, I want you to love one another. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, I told you guys to pay attention to every word. Amen. They don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. Greater love hath no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Amen. That's the greatest love that one can have for one another. Amen. Lay down his life for his friends. That's his true friendship. Amen. Not fake. Come on. <laughs> Real friendship. Come on. Okay. One of the things that the Lord told me the friend, the real friendship, true friendship, they don't look uh, like a social study Come on. or economic. They just they look themselves like equal because this, that's the true friendship. You don't look your friend as this. You have true friendship for one person or with one person. You don't look that person higher than you or lower than Come you. Come on. You, are, you look that person as equal to you because your friend, your true friend, okay? That's what, that's what a true friendship is, okay? okay? Verse 12, again, this is my commitment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Amen. One life for his friends. That's what you feel when you ask a, a real friend, right? Amen. You don't think twice to give your life for your friend. If that can be the case, it comes to that point. Amen. Verse 14, you are my friend, you see? You are my friends. Now Jesus is talking to the disciples. This is, this is a progression, okay? You are my friend. If you do whatever I command you. Come on. There are a lot of people running around saying, I'm a friend of Jesus. I you do it, whatever <laughs> Jesus commands you to do. Whatever. See? 
That did you come from disciples to friend of Jesus? You know, when we you, we all Christian, we are disciples of Jesus, right? Amen. But a few friends of Jesus. Come on. That's right. You see, the, the disciple of Jesus, the first disciple of Jesus, the twelve, they became first disciples, then they became apostles, and now Jesus and friends. But what is the the condition? If you do what I command you to do. Come on. You're not a disciple anymore, but you become my friend. You see, Jesus the Lord, and, and, and when he's told them you you do what I command you, you will be my friend. Still, Jesus was putting those people in, in the same plane with him. And I look at you down at my servants. Come on. I look at you the same like me, my friends. My friends. The conditional is if you do whatever I command you. Remember the scripture that you have to to forsake God if you want to follow him. Lay down your life. You really you wanna become friends of Jesus, you have to forsake God. Amen. You lay down your own life for his life. To do his will. Amen. To do whatever he commands you to do, to, to go wherever he sends you. We started in verse 9. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. See? See? Abide in my love. You know, we know Jesus did whatever the Father sent him to do. Come on. He was obedient to the Father, and he, he himself said, I want to do what I see my Father do. I came to do the will of my Father. Amen. So he opened the door for everyone who wants to be his friend. Each believer can be a friend of Jesus. Amen. But, but, you have to do whatever he told you to do. Without hesitation. Come on. Because you're you you his friend, right? And you do, you lay down your life for your friend. Come on. Let's go back to verse 13. Man, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one life for his friends. See, lay down. And, and that's the believer is supposed to do, lay down his life for Jesus. Not my will, but you will be done. Amen. Jesus told the Father that, and we're supposed to do the same. Amen. Lay down our life for Jesus, our friend. See, he's our Lord, but he's our friend too. Come on. If we do whatever he commands us to do. Hallelujah. Don't forget that. Yeah. People running around, because some so friends of Jesus. Hmm. Now that person is doing whatever Jesus commanded than to do, or to him or her. There are many are disciples, but a few friends. Mm -hmm. See, many, many disciples. A few are friends. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Mm. So you are my friends if you, if you do whatever I command you. <laughs> what the Lord is telling you to do? Mm. What is telling you to do? 
Are you willing to do it? Do you want to become friend of Jesus? Or just a disciple? There's no, there's no better title than friend of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Yes, this is a progression, right? You start as a servant disciple, but you grow in the knowledge of him through his word, through obedience. And you get and you get to the place that you lay down your life for him completely. Amen. And become a friend of Jesus, but you have to lay down your life completely. Not my will, but your will be done. Amen. You have, you don't have no other agenda. Come on. That the one that Jesus has for you. Amen. And, and many believers they think they have just lay down the life for Jesus. They think they can enjoy his life. They think they're not going to accomplish anything in this life. And they're missing to be a friend of Jesus. That's right. To have that close fellowship with Jesus. Hmm. You know, only true friend they speak things that nobody knows, only true friends. You want to know those things from God? Become friend of Jesus. You know, people do whatever to stay to be a friend of any man or any woman. You know. Why you don't do everything to take? To be friend of Jesus. Amen. Lay down your life for him. Do whatever he tells you to do. I see people betraying another person to become friend of others. Person. But they don't do that for Jesus. You are my friend if you do whatever I command you. Whatever. You know, if it's still, no longer do I call you servants. For a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things, you see, for all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. See, no secret. Amen. Between friends is no secret. Between true friends is no secret. Amen. Come on. See? You think Jesus is going to hold something from you and you become his friend? No. True friends don't, don't, don't have no secret. That's good. They know everything about each other. <laughs> See? And Jesus is telling here. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. Everything. No secrets. Amen. And the progression is that now, now you're, not, you're not just my servants, my disciples. You are my friends. I share everything with you. Now you're in another level. Friendship. All those things of the fact, you know now because I told you. See, that's what call that you can call another level. You're not on another level because you belong to this group, to another group. You're on another level when you become friends of Jesus. Right. When you come intimate with Jesus. Mm. 
this is true progress. <laughs> See, you come from serfram, from disciple to flame. This is a, this is a real progression. You do not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father, in my name, he may give you. You see, now, because you're afraid, you got answer to the Father with boldness, confidence. To ask. Yes, Jesus said, I don't need to ask for you. You can go to the Father. Go and ask the Father. Ask the Father. You don't need nobody to become the bridge between you and the Father because I opened the door for you. Amen. You know, I had Christians going around asking, could you tell me? I want to know what the Father is saying. No, you go. Jesus opens the door. Amen. Become friend of Jesus. Do whatever he's telling you to do. No, because when you do whatever he's telling you to do, you have that confidence. You can go to the Father and ask. And ask him for yourself. But some people, they prefer to be in their side. In others, go for them because they don't want to deny themselves. They want to, They don't want to yield their life to Jesus. Amen. They don't want to yield. They don't want to give life for Jesus. They always then they always wonder. <laughs> If Jesus loved them, if Jesus hear them, if Jesus is going to answer to them, they wonder because they don't know him. Mm -hmm. See, when well, you know your friend, you never wonder. You know what your friend is going to say. You know what your friend likes. You know what bothers your friend. <laughs> See, we're talking talk about true friendship. <laughs> Soon be little ever and the and the outside. No no communion, no fellowship with Jesus. They are afraid to give something. The Lord said, I want that from you, life because it's not good for you. And they, they are afraid to give it to him. See, that's why they cannot be friends for Jesus because they, they, they are laid down anything. Sometimes a big thing is attitude. But sometimes attitude can be a big thing because that handles you, you lie, fellowship not only with Jesus, but with one another. Amen. Then your bad attitude can be hindered. That Jesus can use you to be a blessing to others. You see? Because we hear from Him. And it worked to us That's to right. touch people's life. Yes. If we get bad attitude, and how are Jesus going to use us? No. And we got bad attitude all the time. It just become part of our life that bad attitude. That means that we don't have that communion with Jesus. That's what he's saying. You see? Amen. Then, and then in verse 17, said, these things I command you that you love one another. Repeat, remember. Because if we 
want to be a friend of Jesus, we want to do whatever he commands us to do. Amen. And he repeats love at the end of this, what we just read. Because it's important, love is important. And we know what is love. Love according to God. And we're not talking the love of, of Phileo, there's about, you like me, I like you, and, and I feel good. No, that's love. It's that beyond that, beyond my emotions. Mm -hmm. It's a love that I never desire wrong in you or wish wrong for you. I always have the desire that this always happened the best for your life. Amen. Or in your life. Amen. That's a true love. I got love. The more that than the feel of the feel of our emotions. And and when he's talking about friendship, is a big friend it's between friends mutual love. There's no one side. Okay. Most of you love me, I love you. That's a, the, the real friendship. We love each other. Amen. Okay. And that's what Jesus said. He said to keep his commitment. Do whatever I command you to do. Okay. Are you willing to do whatever Jesus commands you to do? Not what man commands you, but Jesus commands you to do. Are you willing to lay down your life for your friend Jesus? Amen. Are you willing to forsake all, all for Jesus? Come on. Are you willing to yield yourself or your will for the will of, the, of Jesus in your life? Because you cannot call him friend and you're not doing that. Or you're not willing to do that. Now we hear the chef people saying, I'm a friend with Jesus, I'm a friend with Jesus. But that's not true because they're not ready. Because they say with their own mouth, I understand. No, because this and that, all making excuse, but they call this, um, themselves friend of Jesus. And they are all weird. It doesn't make you believe that it's true what they say, but it's not. Because the fruit, they don't love other people, they do it wrong to people. Be stealing people, the brother and sister. <laughs> when the Jesus said, love one another. Okay? Love one another. He said, do whatever I command you. When he said, this is my commitment that you love one another. First, I was talking about brother and sister, yeah. church to church. If we cannot love one another, how are we going to say that we are friends of Jesus? We're not keeping his commitment. We're not, tell, we're not doing what, what he's telling us to do. Hallelujah. You see, Abraham, Abraham was called the friend of God. <laughs> Why? Because you obey. Their friendship with Jesus and with the Father equal to obedience. Amen. You have to obey. 
you must obey. Amen. You don't do your own thing. You do his will. That made you friend of Jesus. Amen. You lay down your life. Why you lay down your life? Because maybe you're not going to be popular among all these believers either. <laughs> no, don't talk about the world because I know I think but between the church, among the church, maybe you're going to be persecuted. Because you have surrendered yourself, your life, your will. You have put your life in the altar for Jesus, for your friend Jesus. Amen. Maybe oh, they're not going to look that well. <laughs> and they're not going to tell you, oh, a great thing. Oh, that's good that you surrender your life to Jesus, that you're walking with him now. Maybe they will persecute you, but you lay, that's, that's laying down your life. Emotions. Sometimes you write to defend yourself. For him, you do it. That's right. When everybody attacking you with no reason, speaking, and you just shut your mouth because you love Jesus, and you want to glorify Him better. You defend yourself, Amen. and you lay down your life for Him. If you know you're right, they, if they, they wrong, they're attacking you, but you say, you know, Lord, I want to glorify you in this manner. Amen. I want to lay down my life for you in this manner. Come on. I want you to be glorified. Not my will, but you will be done. You lay down your life for your friend, Jesus. You do it. Because you love him so much. You love your friends so much, you said that, that, that this doesn't matter. That's nothing. That's right. I want my friend to be glorified. <laughs> you see, that's the difference. Lay down your life for your friend, for Jesus. We do crazy things for human friends. Why you don't do it for Jesus? Amen. They never, you see, is faithful. Always going to remain faithful to you. Always. Amen. He's never going to betray you. Come on. Never. He's never going to forsake you. That's right. Abraham was called the friend of God. He called he believed God. What a belief to trust, to depend, to obey. <laughs> because we believe God will obey whatever He say. Amen. We believe Jesus will obey whatever He say. We go up against our emotions, feeling we obey. Amen. That's laid down our life. Okay? Yes. You become a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. You become every day you surround Every day you wake up and say, Lord, I surround them. Yes. I surround them myself, yield myself to you. You don't know what's going to happen during the day, but you make that decision. Because I want to glorify you. I want to lay down my life for you because you're my friend. I surrender to you. I yield myself to you. Not my will, but your will be done. See, we have to make that decision every day. Amen. Every, every day is not one thing. Don't deal. It's every day. Amen. 
Christi. Let me read verse 13 again, John 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You decide. A you decision. That's right. A you decision. Lay down your life. You love him, you lay down your life. He already laid down his life for, for us. He, did. he already did. That's right. And that's what he was teaching to his disciples. You, you see, I laid down my life already for you guys. You see? And now you call me, call me Lord. You're my disciple, but no, now I call you friends. I told you everything that my father told me. I don't want no secrets with you. Thank you. I'm your friend, but you want to be my friend? Do whatever I command you to do. Amen. The door is open for every believer to become friend of Jesus. Not just a disciple. Not just a believer, but a friend of Jesus. But a friend. If you do whatever he commands you to do, what he's telling you to do. Maybe he's not telling you to a big thing like that, you know. Like when he told me that my wife to go in and build a church in Colombia, that's a big thing, you know, I have to go from one place to another and no, <laughs> you see, and not so easy things. It wasn't so easy stars. The, the place was dangerous. The danger was there. But we believe. Amen. And we say, no, I will, but the will we done. That's, that's laid down the life right there. You will need some level of comfort to go to other places, they're not going to be the same. And you're not doing it for fame, you're not doing it for money, because there was money involved, no fame, no, no fame, no anything. Even your life would have been in danger. And what in danger of life, many times. But many, the Lord not telling you to do something like that. It's a small thing, like I said, attitude. I'm going to put it small. You cannot yield that to him. To be his friend. Hmm. So, but you just want to be a disciple. But remember, a disciple, a true disciple, follows his master and his teaching. Amen. I mean, obey. You see? Some believers, I think that the title of disciple I have to take away from them because they, they, don't, they don't believe in the word of God. They don't even believe the thing that Jesus said. I have someone that said that the red letter that we see in our, in our Bibles, that we know Jesus speaking, was speaking, they said there wasn't for us. It wasn't only for the disciples of that time. You see how they lie. They, and they called themselves friends of Jesus. <laughs> Liars. You know, love is mutual. That's right. Okay. They, Jesus loved you. And how we respond to his love? Keeping his commitment. Do whatever he commands us to do. In obedience. You see, that's what the way Jesus spoke to the Father in love. Jesus knew the Father loved him. How he, and he loved the Father. How he, he respond to the love of the Father? Obeying the Father. That's right. Right? Obeying the Father. Okay. Because if we, we're going to say the way friend of Jesus, we love Jesus. The only way we can choose that love is obeying Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at we we all everything is in the word of God, okay? In the Bible. It's like 
Go back to John 14. I want to read verse 30 and 31, okay? Pay attention to that, listen, and look at your Bible. How Jesus chose that the love of him toward the Father was through obedience. Amen? John 14, verse 30 and 31 says, I will no longer talk much with you for the ruler of this world. He is coming, and he has nothing in me. He's talking about the devil. He's the ruler of this world. The, and so Bible says the prince, the prince of this world. Okay? Because he's the one, the ruler of the people, the Rohan of Jesus, and they are. They manipulate everything here. Devil. Amen. Look at the contrast here. Verse 31. Jesus said, But that the world may know that I love the Father, you see, I love the Father, the world know I love the Father, Jesus loves the Father, but you want the world know, how the world, because you can say, I love so and so, but how? I don't know, that's what you say, mm -hmm. what are the proof, I don't see no proof, the proof has to be something that the people can see that you love so and so, mm -hmm. right, okay, yeah. but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me, Commandment, you see, so I do. So, how you show the world that you love the Father? Do I, the commandments of the Father, obedience Amen. to the will of the Father. Come on, that's good. You see that? Obedience to the will of the Father. He said, You saw me, I love the Father. And I will show you guys. I will show the whole world that I love the Father doing His will. Amen. Doing His will. Doing His will. See, if you love Jesus, if you want to become friend of Jesus, what you have to do, whatever He command you to do. And He said, all right? And no other way. And I'm in your emotion. Oh, I love Jesus. Jesus love me. Oh, Jesus is my friend. Why is Jesus my friend? Because I feel. <laughs> Come on. And that, that's not it. Come on. Mm. He, said, he said, you are my friends. <laughs> If you do whatever I command you. Right? And he said, You love me, the one who keep my commitments. Jesus said that. Now he did for the Father. He did the five commitments. He was obedient to the five commitments. Amen. He showed his love to the Father. And everybody saw the love of Jesus to the Father. So if we want to know that we are friends of Jesus, we walk according to his will. We live according to his will. We do whatever he commands us to do. Amen. Because I can say, oh, I love Jesus. I'm a friend of Jesus. People look at me. Show, show me. Mm -hmm. How do I feel? Though? Show me. How will show? It? With obedience to his will, to his word, living according to to his word, to his commitment, living according to his saying. Amen. Nobody can feel real emotion when I'm worshiping him. When I, you know, that's a good thing, that's a good time. But you have to get out from that place. Come on. And walk in obedience every day. Amen. Okay. You cannot be deceived in walking only by emotions when we feel, feel, feel good time. You feel that? You feel that? Not that way. Because you love him, you do it because the right thing to do, because it's real, even you don't feel good about it. <laughs> That's you just do it because the will of God. Amen. If you love him, you obey him. Okay. It's not about how I feel. 
Yeah. Not my will, but your will be done. Amen. I laid down my life for him. That's what it is. Every day. You see, every day, you, you, maybe you're feeling in that, in that light about it, but you say, I will do it because we laid down my life for my friend Jesus. I will do his will. He told me I will do it. Mm -hmm. That then you can say I'm a friend of Jesus. Because you're doing his will. You doing what he commands you to do. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.